Hello everybody, Wolf here again. Sorry I haven't been making videos. Uh, this is part two of the blood bonding ritual, or blood bonding talk. Uh, and sorry about the fan, but it's like 80 in here. The fan stays on. Um, this is a touchy subject uh, throughout history. Uh, so I'm going to make the statement that this is for informational use only. I do not encourage you to bloodlet or to participate in any rituals. This is for your information and how some practitioners still practice this. That out of the way, um, there's a lot of misconceptions about blood magic. Uh, number one, more is better. No, it's not. You only actually need a few drops of your blood for any magical use. Uh, number two, uh, it's going to sound a little selfish, but that's the point. The blood that has the most power is your blood. That's what matters to you. So it's your blood. No one else's or not an animal. Um, that's a, another video on itself. I'm a meat eater, so um, I can't really say anything bad about animal sacrifice. I've done mainly. Uh, but I can say that's different offering a animal to a deity that's then going to be cooked and served to all the worshipers. That's one thing. Killing an animal to attain its blood or to use its life force as for your spell means you're actually weak. You don't have the power to do it yourself. If you want to spill blood, spill your own, because that's what has the most power to you. Uh, ethical rant over. It's actually the most simplest form of magic you can actually do. Um, you would actually take a piece of paper. Um, this is another thing. I actually prefer the jaw style of paper, the plain jaw style of paper, a rice paper or something thinner because you're going to be burning it. You don't need tons of smoke. Um, but what you simply do is take a piece of paper. Uh, there's two ways I do this. One is pure magic, which I don't do that often. And one is de deity focused magic. That one's the one I do the most. Now this is something if I need oomph, if I really, really need something like a healing for somebody in dire needs, protection, or something along that lines, it's your, above your normal prayer requests and stuff or magic. That's when I do this. It's for special occasions in which I need that extra power there. And what you do is simply write down your need and how you want to attain it on the paper. You would then consecrate the paper and any instruments you use like a diabetic lancet or a little bitty razor. You would then prick your finger or back of your arm. You never, you never cut on the underside of your arm. Um, and if you get good at this, you don't have to cut deep. Just a little bitty scratch. Just enough for a few drops of blood. You will then smear the paper with it. Let it dry. And if you're asking a deity for help, You'll actually go to the altar, call on them, ask them to help you. Will they accept this blood as a token offering to help you in this? You would then make any other offerings like candles or whatever to go in with the energy as well. Incense, stuff along that line. You would then, when you focus on the paper, focus on your goal, you would then burn the paper in your incense burner and then close down anything, you know, or say your thanks and everything, and then leave the area. This, unlike other forms of magic, you do not have to repeat this. Usually one time, we'll get, get it done. But as I said, this, personally, I use this only in dire cases where I really, really need an outcome quickly. And once again, blood is symbolic. It's symbolic of the raw power there. Uh, now, like I said, emergencies only for me. But there are other forms of blood magic out there. And if you want to research them, I say go ahead. Uh, like I said, it's got a bad rap. But if you use it in the right way, well, like anything, it should be perfectly fine. But like I said, in all forms of magic, 
you actually do not have to do what others do. You can skip on blood magic completely and stick to other forms. Or you could do like I do and use it in dire cases. Either way, it's up to you. And please do it ethically. And as the warning states, I, I included this information to say what I and some others did or do. Um, just for your information. So there. Uh, whoa, this is one of my longest videos. It's actually running at five minutes now. Which means it's going to be horrible at uploading because I got crappy internet right now. But I hope I let you know some information on a subject you did not know. And like I said, personally, I use only this and when I need to bring out the big guns. And instead of just using the plane focusing my energy magic, I'll usually run to a deity that I'm friends with uh, and say, I really, really need this. As you already know, you're a god. Um, can we work something out to have this outcome? Uh, and usually, like I said, that is the simplest form. Well, it goes for anything. Just offer candles or whatever, incense. Usually, if you go to them and say, hey, I got this problem, can we work on something together? You will normally actually get an outcome if you're putting in effort. Uh, that's the main thing. You've got to put out the effort to begin with. And that's its own other video, which I'll go into details later. Dang my ADHD. But yeah, my long-awaited second video on blood magic is now out. Hopefully, YouTube will allow it. I, as I said, it's a controversial subject. Well, until the next video, write blessings and everybody take care.